What's up, Playmakers? Welcome to today's episode on the Playmaker Podcast. I'm super excited y'all are here today. Last week, we talked a little bit about how I got down to Florida, what it was like working for Mickey Mouse, and I told y'all I was going to catch you up on what I'm doing now. And so that is what we're going to talk about today. So when I moved down to Florida and I started working at Disney, I was in a restaurant doing food service stuff, and I saw a life in the corporate world that I knew that I did not want long term. I knew that I desired to have a family one day. I desired to be able to be home with my kids. I want to raise my kids, my future kids. I don't want someone else to do that. I've seen a difference in the past few years with my and within my own family dynamic of both of my parents being small business owners and being very busy, learning and catching that strong, hard work ethic that both of them have. But I've seen a shift since my mom sold her business several years ago and has been home. And there's a different dynamic and a different relationship that she and my youngest sister, Callie, have compared to what I got. There's a different version of my mom that Callie gets to enjoy that I didn't have, not because mom wasn't available, but because she was torn between not just family stuff, but also business stuff, working with her own clients, managing her own staff, and just building the stream that the Lord had sowed in her heart. Now, for that time in our family's life, that was exactly what she needed to be doing. But I've seen the change and the awesome version of what being fully present and fully available looks like for what my sister gets to enjoy now. And after seeing that, I realized like, that's what I want. I want to be that mom. I want to be that wife that is able to be home and be available. Now, does that mean that I don't want to work? Absolutely not. And if you know me, I can't help but work even if I don't want to. Like I'm going to be doing something at all times. But I knew that I wanted to create a life, build a life that I was going to have the flexibility to work from home and be around for my family. Even right now in this season, I'm able to be home with my roommates. And it's a really special thing to be able to do that, to have a flexible schedule like that. So let's dive on in. When I moved down here, I was connected with a woman who lives down here named Emily. And she is a rock star, small business owner, mom of three, awesome wife, leader, entrepreneur, just incredible marketing mind. And she actually worked with my mom directly when mom ran the Curious Edge. So mom connected us and was just like, hey, please meet my daughter, be a be a mama in Florida for her. So we grabbed lunch one day at Panera and we start talking and kind of just getting to know each other, right? So she starts telling me about her business, which is all about social media management, marketing, all these incredible things that she's got her hands in. And as we were talking, she was trying to help me because that's what a playmaker does. They're always trying to figure out how they can serve other people. So even in that moment, she was just nonstop trying to figure out how she could help me and how she could serve me best. Starts just naming off contacts of who she can connect me with for future jobs if I wanted to stay in Orlando but not stay with Disney. And as we're talking, nothing's really clicking in my mind of like, oh, that's it. You know what I mean? And she starts telling me then about her own business, about what she does with the social media marketing stuff, and tells me about a roadblock that she had hit, something that just kind of stumped her. And because of my health coaching background and the hours and the dollars that I've invested into different courses to learn social media marketing, I was able to then add value to her life and help her with this roadblock that she had hit. And we started talking, brainstorming, and we were, at that page, we knew we were we were talking the same language. And so she asked me if I would want to start helping her on her team with graphic design, social media management, that kind of stuff. Now, I thought that was fabulous, and I've never been one to just do one thing. And like, if you know me, you know I stretch myself really thin anyway. But this was an opportunity to learn and grow that I thought sounded super fun. So I said yes, and I started working with him in about September of 2021. So I'm working for Disney full-time. I'm also working for Emily part-time, all while trying to get involved in my church, soak up all the park time that I can possibly get while I worked for Disney, and just do just, you know, life stuff. So my schedule was really full. And on top of that, I started volunteering and coaching for one of the high school basketball teams down here. So my plate was full 
but that's when I operate my best. So I started learning from Emily all of these different graphic design techniques and different ways to do things to just basically, I was able to be coachable so then I could be better at what I was already doing for other people. And I realized that in order to get where others aren't, I have to be willing to do what others aren't willing to do. So when other people were going to the parks and just playing in all their free time, I was staying home where I was at a coffee shop and I was grinding out some hours to work for him and help her grow her business while also me growing my skill set and getting that experience. Now, don't mishear me. I still played hard. And if you have followed me on social media, you know I played hard when I was in the Disney College program. But I had boundaries because I had a bigger vision and I wanted to be building a business. I saw what was possible. And so I started running after that. And I started running so fast with this that I realized, and with Emily's help and coaching, that I could do this full time and I could create a business working for myself from home and helping other people share their stories and growing their business. And so I really dug into that and I kept just by word of mouth and just the Lord's provision with that, I kept gaining new clients. Just one person would tell another. I mean, you know how small towns work. That's kind of how it felt. And I would ask the Lord every day when I would wake up to go to Disney. Can I quit today? Can today be the day I quit? I knew that I was there for a reason, a purpose, fully confident of that, but it was not setting my soul on fire. And I felt myself starting to feel complacent at times of like, is this all that there is to life? The truth is, no, there's not. There's so much more, but it's going to be uncomfortable to get there. But I knew that that was the life that I wanted. That's the goal that I was going to go for. And so I leaned in and worked my tail off to do that. So fast forward to the end of January of 2022. I'm still working for Disney. I had about two weeks left of my college program. And literally every single day, I was still asking the Lord, can today be the day I quit? I wanted to walk away and I wanted to do this social media online marketing business full time. And he kept saying no, told me to go to work over and over and over again. So I would go to work, I'd go to Disney and I'd go work there. One morning I woke up past my alarm late. Like, you know, when you're like, you know, there's a specific time, like the last second possible that you can leave your house and still make it somewhere on time without being late. Yeah, well, at that exact second, that's when I woke up. So (laughs) guaranteed to be late. And I had never done that. I had never been late to work. And so I was like, well, this is a first. I had never slept through my alarm for Disney. And so I woke up knowing I'm not going to make it on time. It's impossible. And Disney had a weird point system that basically you could have a two hour gap of time to be late before there were kind of more serious reprimands that would happen. And so I let them know I was going to come in late and take that two hours. And I decided to fix my coffee and have my Jesus time since I had that time. And I was like, okay, well, that's how I'm going to start my day. As I got up to walk to the bathroom, I just felt paralyzed. Like literally I could not take another step and I couldn't see myself going to work that day. And I said, Lord, is this the day that I leave Disney? And I felt a very small whisper, yes, which was the first time that I had felt that. But I was unsure. So I went about my morning routine. I got my uniform on. I went downstairs and had my coffee in Jesus time. And I couldn't even tell you what passage of scripture I was studying that morning because the whole time I just kept playing through this like vision of my day in my head. And I was not at Disney at any point of that day. I could not focus. And I asked the Lord again, am I done? Am I not going to work today? And again, I felt a yes inside of me. Well, then my dad called me and I had been doing a lot of marketing stuff for his business and social media management, email stuff, all the good things. And I got a phone call from him and he was like, hey, sis, I need this and this and this today. And then I need you to be on this phone call at this time. And I need you to hop on this Zoom meeting. And then I need this knocked out and I need this done before this time. And And I was like, uh, I'm supposed to work for Mickey Mouse until four o'clock today. And I'm already late. Like, that's not going to happen. And he said well, that just won't do. (laughs) And if you know D. Hud, you know that he is all about having a game plan, being financially responsible, financially literate. And so he was one of the ones that had coached me that was like, you cannot walk away from Disney until you can match that income and some more, right? Otherwise it would be a financially irresponsible decision to walk away early. So I asked him that morning as we're on the phone, I was like, dad, 
do you think this is the day that I leave? And he said, you know, I thought that this morning when I woke up and I'm kind of feeling it now. I think you might be done. And normally when I make a decision like this, I ask the Lord to confirm with scripture. And I didn't get scripture that day. But within the next 30 minutes, I kid you not, I got a phone call from a current client of mine now. And I got an email asking if I had time for an interview that morning because they needed a freelancer. They had heard about me and asked if I could join their team. Both of those within 30 minutes. And by the end of that day, I had secured both of those spots, was making more than I was doing for Disney with those two clients alone. And I was able to walk away. I went to Disney, handed in my keys and walked away that day. Crazy. Super God thing. Super awesome experience of one, being obedient and staying with Disney as long as I did. But then also the reward of that to being able to say yes to people that I've been able to really help grow since then. So now I work from home full time. I am in the business consulting, marketing consulting, social media management, email advertising, web design, graphic design, that kind of world. And I love it. I am starting to build and have begun to build this foundation of a business that I will be able to take with me anywhere. I have the flexibility to work on my time anywhere I want to. And that sounds super awesome, glamorous. And at times it is, but there's also times that I don't shut my computer until after everyone else has gone to bed. Like it's it's not a typical nine to five job. There's pros and cons of running your own business. And I'm learning that too. I, I saw that growing up with two very entrepreneurial parents and I'm learning that on my end now that every yes is a no to something else and a yes to running my own business was a no to some social events but also a yes to some social events is a no to growing my business at times and there's a give and take and I've learned a lot about setting healthy boundaries with that and just loving and embracing the journey along the way so that is where I'm at what I'm doing so here's my encouragement and my basically call to action for y'all first of all be present where you are wherever that may be whatever job you're doing. The Bible tells us that we are supposed to do all that we do as if working for the Lord. And so even when I was with Disney, I was not perfectly, but really trying to give everything that I had to that spot where I was being where my feet were. And same when I was not there, when I was doing the graphic design stuff and social media management on the side, I was fully present with that. With that being said, when I would go to the parks and be with my friends, my phone was away. I was fully present with them. Why? Because it is so crucial in this day and age, especially, that we be where our feet are. So be present with wherever you are. Second thing is be intentional and get a vision. If you have a vision to run your own business or you have a vision to reach a certain goal, be intentional to take the steps to make that happen. Even if there's some sacrifice, which there will be along the way. You know, we have this massive dream and we want there to be just a teeny tiny bit of struggle along the way with like this massive awesome result and that's just not how it works so be intentional make the sacrifice and start taking action steps to move towards that goal and so that's my last call to action is take action whatever your goal is whatever dream the lord has sown in your heart whatever vision he has given you take action today not to do it all at one time and not even to do it perfectly but to just get one percent better get one percent better in whatever craft you're doing get 1% closer to whatever goal you're striving for and start moving towards that today. You're a playmaker. You aren't made to sit on the sideline and let life happen to you. So jump in the game and start moving towards those goals, getting 1% better each and every day. Remember, the goal is not to be perfect. It's to be better. So go out and do something today to get 1% better. I'll see you next time.